Hello, everyone. Today, we will talk about the Water Pollution Control Technology course. I'm Diao Xinxing. Let's take the Bioprocessing Technology module together. Activated Sludge Process. Traits and Composition of Activated Sludge. 1912. Clark and Gage in the UK found. Prolonged aeration produces sludge. Meanwhile water quality has improved significantly. Arden and Lockett. It is this sludge that has been found to contribute to the improvement of water quality. Has a key role to play. That's why these sludge are called activated sludge. Properties of activated sludge. Activated sludge is a variety of aerobic microorganisms. Certain parthenogenic and anaerobic microorganisms. With solids, colloids, etc. in wastewater. Intertwine. Appears as a yellowish-brown flocculent. The activated sludge process is the main activated sludge-based sewage treatment methods. So let's learn next. Properties of activated sludge. Its main characteristics are color, odor, composition, etc. Activated sludge is yellowish-brown in color. The odor of activated sludge is earthy in nature. The properties of activated sludge are flocculated particles. The relative density of activated sludge is a little higher than water. In the aeration tank mixture, the density of activated sludge is around 1.002 to 1.003. Return sludge density around 1.004 to 1.006. Particle size of activated sludge, probably around 0.02 to 0.2 millimeters. Composition of activated sludge. Activated sludge. Composition of microorganisms inhabiting sludge. Main inclusions. Bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and epizootics. So activated sludge. It is primarily a bacterial-based group, except for the bacteria, and some yeast, actinomycetes, mycobacteria, protozoa, and postulates. There's also organic matter from the sewage. Inorganic suspended colloidal matter. Bacteria in activated sludge. Levels typically range from 107 to 108 per milliliter. Protozoa approximately 103 per milliliter. Ciliates predominant among protozoa. The composition of the activated sludge can also be in accordance with ingredients. Can be divided into dry solids and water. Thousands of solids as a percentage of activated sludge. About 1% to 2%. Then dry solids it can be divided into MLVSS and NVSS. Then the dry solids, also known as activated sludge in the base. It is mainly composed of microorganisms including bacteria and fungi. The treatment of sewage is actually also mainly due to composition of dry solids in activated sludge. It's mostly microorganisms. The role it plays. Another component of the activated sludge. It's water. It can be as high as 98% to 99% of quality. Next we look at the microorganisms in the activator sludge together. The first part is bacteria. It can directly ingest soluble organic matter. Bacteria break down organic matter. Its main advantageous species include these. There are Bacillus spp, Cyclospora spp, Micrococcus spp, Pseudomonas, Actinomycetes, and Coccidioides spp. The second part is protozoa. Protozoa include for example, bellworms, crawlers and sunworms. These pictures show the trumpet bugs, tired bugs, straw bugs, and the cyclops. The third part is the afterbirth. Posterior animals are more advanced than protozoa, mainly rotifers and nematodes. Microfauna often feed on bacteria in sludge, and protozoan remains, etc. Not only that, but posteroparasites are also commonly used as wastewater treatment in indicator organism. For example, nematodes are aerobic and partially anaerobic. Parthenogenetic anaerobes proliferate in hypoxia. Nematodes as indicator organisms of poor sewage purification. Rotifers. In the pH neutral, alkaline, acidic, grows in all environments. However, in environments with a pH of around 6.8 there are. Life is more varied. Rotifers have a high requirement for dissolved oxygen. That are good indicators of the effectiveness of oligotrophic zones and sewage treatment. 
and the Oligocata. Oligochetes are more advanced than rotifers and nematodes. Body elongated, segmented. Sati on both sides of each segment. Crawling movement by bristles. Omnivorous. Feeds primarily on organic debris and bacteria in the sludge. Tends to proliferate when the water body is deprived of oxygen. Indicator organisms of poor sewage purification. The copod clumps are planktonic crustaceans. The body consists of the head and chest. Well-developed antennae. Carnivorous. Indicator organisms of good water purification. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. Thank you.